people of the Philippines and people of the world, hit the button below and you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking. Kaibigan, tuloy ang usap. I will start with Anjanette. Sabihin mo sa akin ang isang mabuting bagay na ginawa mo ngayong araw. Mm, let me see. Pinuluan ko ang mga anak ko kung ito kay Jesus. Ganda. You know, we're doing this dahil we're trying to encourage people to do one good thing a day and make a difference. Mm -hmm. It starts with one. Yes. So how are you? I feel very blessed. Dahil? Because I have... Um, I think the Lord's blessed me with a better, a good life, the right, the right um, partner, and like my children are healthy. Um, you know, I'm I'm just settled. I feel I'm here. Ang no? Uh, you know why it means so much to me? Dahil hindi ningin sa publiko kung anong hirap ang pinagdaanan mo. But was there a time when you didn't understand kung ano ang nangyayari sa buhay? Oh, naman. Oh, oh. Hindi ko alam kung I could turn to. I didn't know. What to do? I didn't know where to go. I just wanted to hide, mm. and that's I, and I hid. Oh. You know, I'm. Saan ka dito? Oh, dito. Oh, because I'm here because this is where I, you know, I grew up. So, because we don't know that I'm not sure. Konti lang kung ano yung bigyan ko don, di ba? I mean, very little, and um, I, I just wanted to be me, the non-celebrity that I was. You know, the real, the inside, my inner child wanted to just, just be hidden for a while. Oh. I remember I co-hosted with Anjanette and I managed her for a long time. What mm -hmm. did miss mo sa showbiz? <laughs> I really miss dancing the most. Uh -oh. I miss my friends, like like you. I miss hanging out with you. I miss being able to just like be, be. Yeah. You know, like just be. Just be. Just be. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's it really. I, I don't know. But when you have the urge to sing, what do you do? Do you dance at oh, home? I just dance, yeah. You just dance uh, if I have the urge to sing, I'll uh, set up the microphone and everything. You know, me and my love for singing, boy. I know. <laughs> so, we have set up. I have a very musically inclined family. Like, my son is like a piano prodigy. How, para lang sa ating mga um, kaibigan, how many ako, children do you have? I have two kids, dalawang, ang dalawang boys. One is 16 and one is... 13 already. The 13 year old, the 16 year old, magandang voices niya. Magandang. He's a crooner. Mahusay kumanta. Yeah, crooner siya. Frank Sinatra songs. Oh. Okay. And then the other one, Ashton, he's like, he knows how to play the piano. He's never taken lessons, but he can play everything classical. He can. Oh, we do. Yeah. That's a gift. Yes, yes, I know. It's amazing. Hindi nagmana sa yun yun. Pero ako marunong namin ako magkeyboard na yun. I can play any song now. During the pandemic, I am. Um, we were stuck at the house, you know, every day, 24/7. So I told my kids, "Look, we're stuck here. I want you to have something to to come out of this with something that you learned or something." Tama. I don't. Uh, ayoko ng stagnant. I taught them A through Z of the Bible verses. You know? Oh. So and then me and my I said, "I'm going to learn how to play the keyboard." Okay. So I taught myself all the chords, you know, in practice and practice. So, you know. But I'm just so happy with where you are today. And we cannot not talk about your partner mm. and how <laughs> he changed oh, yes. your life. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that, you know, everything good and perfect comes from God. So, so you know, I, I, I totally believe that. And um, he's a answered prayer. You know, they used to say na pag na meet mo siya, mal mo. And I never, had that. I never, I never, yeah, I never believed in that until I met him. And I said, oh, oh it's God. really true. Yeah. Okay. And he totally had no idea as to who you were. Yes, no, he did not. <laughs> ang ang nalaman lang yan nung nagkano nag, nag, kami ng cruise. We went on a cruise to Alaska, and you know, from the first day when we got there, he was like wondering why the all the you know there's so many people the Filipinos on the cruise. Na sabi niya, why do they know you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't know Funny. until then. Na, which is good. Uh, Pero maganda yun kasi hindi niya ako pinrato na like you know. Like but a, what does he do? Oh, he's well, he is a an evangelist. He, an he, evangelist. Yes, yeah, he, he preaches. Dito nang gagaling yung, yung uh, your own ministry. Yes, yes, right? yes. Because, um, well, kasi parang ako may, meron kong utang na loob sa mga, mga blessings ko. 
So, you know, through him, I learned a lot of things and how, how and I learned that, you know, I know that God is the reason for everything mm -hmm. in my life that's happened. And, you know, because of him, I learned how to become closer again to, to God. Okay. So when people say, Dana, <laughs> may mga tao pa rin. Oo. I said, because I was like a household name for a while, you know? Yeah. Because araw-araw nasa TV ako before when I first started. So, I think they're, I don't know, they just do, I, I can't explain it. I don't know. <laughs> how did you say you're Dana? How, you, how did I say it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, mine was a long one. Ah, yours is a long one? Yeah, everybody's is short now. Diba? Like, like, uh, like, like uh, no, I, I milked it. <laughs> how did you, you know, say like, it? You know, like, that. Oh, diba? Like, a long one talaga. But when you did it, mm -hmm. uh, how yung technology no? That was the beginning. That was the first movie na pinadala sa Hong Kong para sa mga technology. Oh, okay. Kaya it was medyo ano pa, uh, sketchy, you know. Like, I, Pero hindi ka naman inilalagay sa mesa at saka you would pretend to fly. Wala no, I was, no, I was already harnessed. Yeah, I was already harnessed with a steel, ah, okay. a steel harness that was painful. Right. Uh -huh. You really have to be physically fit. Kaya I, I understand why some of them get hurt. Uh -huh. Kasi kailangan talaga fit ka katawan mo. And you have to prepare for it physically. Yes, you have to. And I luckily I was physically, you know, very fit at that time. So and I already mm. knew I knew a lot of aerobics and and you no, know, I know. acrobatics. I remember that. So you know, I so remember that. Helped that. Me, that helped me convince Direct Tech that I will do my own stunts. Yeah. Okay. Kasi ayoko nang stunt double. Oh. Aside from Darna, what is your favorite movie? Oh, yeah. Um, I shot akong balikbayan. With FPJ. Right. That's my favorite of all. I remember. That was remember the funnest that. of all. Yeah. Kumusta si FPJ? Oh, he was the best. And, um, like, he taught me a lot of... I could ask him anything, advice about anything, about being a celebrity, being a movie star, or anything. And he will he will tell me. And he was very down to earth. I learned a lot from him. You know, mm -hmm. yung, mga, yung mga sikat na sikat, like FPJ and Dolphy, siya yung pinakahambo. You worked with uh, Tito Dolphy? Yeah. Um, um, yeah, Aring yeah, Kinkin. I was his bodyguard. Right. <laughs> so, doon, parang, I just noticed na yung mga super famous na mga tao. Yung, the humblest. Um, and that yes. explains also why a lot of people here and in cruises, for example, yun yung crowd kasi. FPJ, mm -hmm. Tito Dolphy, Home Alone, mm -hmm. the Riles. Mm -hmm. So, um, they won't forget you. Yeah, it, You'll always be nice. part of, you know, their stories. Yeah, my, I, my TikTok, like, um, he always takes me like just impromptu on TikTok and suddenly one of them he took I was um, at the market and I found Atis <laughs> like oh my god there's an Atis here I was so excited it hit over it's over like a million something views just for that little short clip I said what? <laughs> you know and then another one I because boy I know how to cook now <laughs> look see see oh my god marunong ka na magluto lahat marunong ako ng lahat I can I can make bulalo, I can make sinigang, I can make all of those things. Paano nangyari ito? <laughs> I don't know. I just, um, out of, I don't know. Right? I, like, pinadownload lang sa akin. Like, kailangan ko naman nang 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 Download and then you would follow instructions and you would Oh, YouTube cook. is the best. You know, like, I just oh watched YouTube. Oh my God. It's just because she couldn't cook. I didn't cook. I couldn't cook. I didn't yeah. want to cook. I didn't want to be in the kitchen. And I used to watch people in the kitchen going, why are they in the kitchen all day? <laughs> oh, oh. Ayoko nga. Okay, let's let's go, move on from the movies to the, the beauty queen mm. days. Mm. It's so different now. Mm. Oh, so no. when you remember your time as Binibining Pilipinas, which again was so controversial. Yeah. <laughs> I know, my life is full of controversy. <laughs> Lapiting ka talaga ng controversy, yeah. diba? So what do you remember? I mean, how, how do you react to what had happened during the... Binibidin Filipinas years of Anjanet. Oh, um, well, what could I have done differently? Like, what could have you yeah, done? Yeah, yeah. So I think about that all the time. Like, what could I have done differently? There was not much I could have done differently because what happened was not in my control. Okay. You know, like I could have gotten there earlier and had been there for the six month residency, which was the whole point of the controversy. Issue. Not, uh, not my citizenship, but I mean, but then I wouldn't have won Miss Whittier in here. In the, you know, I was here. I was Miss Whittier. California before I went to go to the beginning. Mm -hmm. So like everything all happened like in succession like that. So voila, I think it just it was just meant to happen that way. Yeah. I just have to but that. if you talk about learnings, what was the most important lesson that you learned from being a beauty queen? Well, it's weird because being a beauty queen it's it's all about the the first impression. So it's all about appearances when you're mm. making um, even if you don't feel confident, even if you don't feel like you know what we're doing, you have to just 
it project. won't project the, like you do, like project the confidence, you know, because it'll get there, but you just have to show that because people expect a certain kind of person as a beauty queen. There's a, there's a persona involved with a beauty queen. Mm. And if you want to be a beauty queen, you have to, you have to, you know, project that, that persona, right? It and starts it, there. Yes. Exactly. Until it happens. Until, yeah. until you Take believe. Take it until you make it. <laughs> That's, That's what they say. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, like, start there. Yeah, you have, especially um, if you, like, like me, I was, like, I had already done some beauty pageants, but so there are some girls I know that they try and try and try. Yeah. Know, and, I, and, and that's great. You know, they, they should. They have confidence enough for themselves to do that. And being a beauty queen, you're also a role model. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. Because people forget. watch you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the boys. If they were to ask you for one piece of advice on love, on love. what would you tell your boys? Hmm. On love, I would tell them to follow, follow their heart, but they have to love someone who loves God. That's what my, it, God has to be in the picture or else it will not work. It, God has to be involved in that love or else it will never, it will never last. Mm -hmm. That's what I, that's what I would say. In terms of advice, what advice would you give your 18 year old self? At 18, that I have more worth than I think I do. That if I could only see myself the way God sees me, I would have. Because been. for the longest time, you didn't actually realize yes. that mm -hmm. worth. Yes. You know, every, and, and, and also that, you know, if you're, not, if you're not appreciated in one place, don't stay there. Move, move to the place where they will see your your talents and appreciate you for who you are and your value. How did you finally forgive people who have wronged mm -hmm. you? And how did you manage to forgive yourself? Um, I prayed on it, really. I, it was like- Talagang prayers. I really, because I couldn't do it like forever. I just felt like, um, you know, like he just, he was there for me and like the, there's always a plan. Even if we don't see the plan now, the plan is already there. He yeah. knows the plans he has for us, you know, so right. we just have to trust and mm -hmm. believe that, that everything will work out for the good, as long as we keep doing the right thing. Who found the good? Did you find God? Did God find you? Does that make sense as a question? Well, yeah, that makes sense as a question in a, in a way, but um, the first time I felt the, the Holy Spirit was when I was in Guinea Guinea, and then I, I, um, I, I wasn't, he didn't find me, I was lost, you know, like I was the lost sheep. Okay. That he left the 99 to go find. So he knows where we are, everybody. Right. So it's more like I had to finally go back to him, like the father of the son, you know, like mm -hmm. I had to go back and ask for forgiveness. How does that prayer sound today? As a last question, how do you pray? When I pray, I pray any time of the day. It's not, it's not like I have to be on my knees in the quiet. I've learned that God listens all the time. He's with, he's, he's inside, he's, you know, the Holy Spirit dwells in us. Right. So he is always with me. So all I have to do is talk to him. My prayers are full of just um, conversation. Doing, yes, conversation. Just Lord, am I doing this right? If not, please. you know that's what that's how that's how it is. And if you sit still long enough, you'll hear him. If you sit still long enough to allow yourself to hear him, you'll the answer is there. Either through a phone call or through uh, something you hear or something on you know just something that happens. That's an answer, but if you're not if you're not um, aware, or oh, right, like the word still, yeah, you have to be yeah, still. Yeah, be still because yeah. It, it, yeah, Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. Thank you, AJ. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Hi, people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below, and you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk Channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking. Kaibigan. Tuloy ang usap.